KTM stands out as a leading manufacturer dedicated to catering to the needs of young riders, emphasizing both their entry-level offerings and flagship models. The brand's commitment to being ready to race is evident across its entire lineup, ensuring that regardless of size, every KTM motorcycle embodies a sporty spirit. In the realm of KTM's 2024 lineup, the Duke and Super Duke series of sporty nakeds receive updates, with particular attention given to the enduring 390 model alongside its larger counterparts. Featuring a fresh frame, significant enhancements to its LC4C single-cylinder engine, and sleeker aesthetics including a redesigned LED headlight, the 390 reflects the brand's dedication to continuous improvement. The focus of this 90% new model was to enhance power and agility. The LC4C engine's displacement has increased to 399 cubic centimeters, delivering a slight power boost to 44.3 horsepower while complying with European A2 license regulations. Additionally, torque has been increased to 28.8 pound FT. The result? A more dynamic performance on the road, with improved acceleration and smoother operation across various speed ranges. The engine's versatility shines between 4,000 RPM and 8,000 RPM, offering ample mid-range power for spirited riding. Overall, the 390 delivers an engaging experience, whether cruising on the highway or navigating city streets, making it a standout choice among single-cylinder motorcycles. And when the urge strikes, let's be honest, youthful exuberance knows no bounds, the resilient single-cylinder engine doesn't shy away from hitting the rev limiter in each gear. While the six-speed gearbox could be smoother, achieving an indicated 106 miles per hour with the rider tucked in is easily attainable, perhaps even a bit more under favorable conditions. Regrettably, the Quickshifter Plus featured on our test model is only available as an optional add. -in. However, in keeping with KTM's philosophy of imbuing its smaller bikes with the spirited essence of their larger counterparts, the 2024 KTM 390 Duke arrives equipped with lean-sensitive rider aids, traction control, and ABS, along with launch control and a pit lane limiter. Though the latter is more likely to see use in speed-limited areas rather than on tracks like Laguna Seca, the cornering traction control and ABS are invaluable assets for novice riders. For those with more experience, these rider aids can be deactivated, with a Supermoto ABS setting enabling rear wheel locking while retaining front ABS, as KTM aims for the Duke to deliver both enjoyment and safety. Riders can select from three distinct riding modes, track, sport, and rain, which can be adjusted on the fly and are displayed clearly on a sleek new 5-inch TFT dashboard. Track mode transforms the display into a clutter-free race layout and sharpens throttle response. However, most of our on-road testing was conducted in the smoother and more rounded sport mode, where with traction control deactivated, we could appreciate the enhanced ability of the torque-rich new 390 to pull wheelies. In terms of the chassis, KTM asserts that the revamped structure of the 390 offers improved torsional rigidity and feedback compared to its predecessor. This improvement is attributed to a new, slimmer steel trellis frame and a redesigned cast aluminum subframe. Additionally, the new wheels are 9.5 pounds lighter than before, contributing to an overall featherweight of 364 pounds with a full tank of gas. Retaining the original 390's banana-style swing arm, the 2024 model features higher-spec WP Apex suspension, which is adjustable for both rebound and compression at the front, and for rebound and preload at the rear, replacing the non-adjustable units found on the previous iteration. The brakes on the 2024 model retain the single, radial mount 4-piston Vibri caliper from the previous year. Featuring a 320mm disc at the front and a 2-pot caliper paired with a 240mm disc at the rear. However, both have been relocated to the right side of the bike for aesthetic purposes. Handling Venturing into the breathtaking hills near Malaga in southern Spain, the updates to the chassis are just as noticeable as those made to the engine. The Apex fork provides responsive feedback and control, exceeding expectations given the bike's sub-$6, 300 price point. While the newly positioned and directly mounted shock feels slightly firm at the bottom of its stroke, especially noticeable due to the thin seat, the steering is remarkably light, allowing for quick and precise turn-ins to the Apex, particularly thrilling on winding asphalt roads, prompting one to question the appeal of larger, heavier machines. 
Importantly, the 390 maintains stability at higher speeds, avoiding the flightiness often associated with lighter bikes. While the Michelin Power 6 tires offer reliable grip, fitting high-performance track tires would further elevate the 390 Duke's readiness for racing. Brakes Even though the brakes are reportedly unchanged, they feel sharper and more responsive. This improvement could be attributed to the excellent feedback provided by the new fork or perhaps the significantly reduced unsprung weight of the updated wheels. Regardless, they complement the chassis refined agility, providing ample stopping power with just a gentle squeeze of the lever. Moreover, the lean-sensitive ABS offers added safety without being overly intrusive, especially beneficial for novice riders. As expected, the 390 boasts impressive fuel efficiency, with KTM claiming 67 miles per gallon, US. Despite indulging in spirited riding for 80 miles, we managed an average of 49 miles per gallon, US, a commendable figure considering the throttle was frequently wide open. With a 4-gallon fuel tank, this translates to a range of approximately 190 to 250 miles between refills. However, despite its decent range, the 390 may not be the ideal choice for touring. While KTM has endeavored to make the bike as accessible as possible, lowering the seat by 0.4 inches to 32.3 inches, the seat remains uncomfortable. Standing at 5 foot 7, I found the seating position tolerable, but taller and heavier riders encountered discomfort in Spain, as the firm seat and direct-mounted WP suspension lack plushness over larger bumps. In conclusion, the Duke comes with a confirmed price tag of $6,299, despite its array of new technologies and higher-end finishing. It's worth noting that some cost savings may be attributed to its production in India. Unlike its larger counterparts, the 990 and 1390, which are manufactured in Austria. However, it's challenging to pinpoint other areas where KTM has cut costs. While the switchgear may not be particularly noteworthy and some may argue that the 390 lacks the robustness of other bikes in its class, it compensates with lean-sensitive rider aids, multiple riding modes, launch control, a pit lane limiter, adjustable and high-quality WP suspension, and reliable tires. Coupled with its state-of-the-art TFT dashboard with connectivity features and striking aesthetics, it's likely to appeal to young riders with a penchant for sporty rides. And let's not forget, it's truly primed for racing adventures. Elevating the bar for mid-range motorcycling. KTM, the Austrian motorcycle manufacturer renowned for its high-performance machines, has once again pushed the envelope with its 2024 iteration of the KTM 390 Duke. Targeted towards riders seeking a balance between performance, agility, and affordability, the 390 Duke has consistently been a standout in its class. As we delve into the intricacies of the 2024 model, it becomes evident that KTM has not only maintained its standards but has also managed to raise the bar higher. Design and Aesthetics At first glance, the 2024 KTM 390 Duke exudes a bold and aggressive demeanor, typical of the KTM lineup. The sharp lines, edgy styling cues, and compact dimensions make it a head-turner on the streets. The new model year brings subtle yet impactful design tweaks, refining its appearance without compromising its distinct identity. The LED headlamp unit, now more angular and sleek, not only enhances visibility but also adds to the bike's modern appeal. The TFT display, nestled within the redesigned cockpit, offers comprehensive information at a glance, including navigation, connectivity features, and ride statistics.